Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to have Kloon versus Orphelius on Geyser Plains. And that is exciting because I've actually, okay, cast Kloon versus Orphelius a little while ago. That was also pretty good. So that's why I'm excited because actually, that was an okay game, but I think this is probably going to be a better game. Geyser Plains is a map that people are generally more familiar with, so I expect that it'll be more interesting. Kloon immediately going for a scalpel play, hovercraft scalpel, or Philly is going for jump bots, going for jacks. Wow, both heavyweight right out of the gate. And I like actually more scalpel is a more of a on mass, actually kind of an on mass anti heavy. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. Orphelius is going for the scalpels. Clone is going for the jacks. Got that slightly backwards. But yeah, Clone going for the jack rush, which I haven't actually seen. Apparently, that's a thing. Or is Orphelius going for the scalpel? Not quite so much of a rush, but still fairly exciting. <sighs> anyway, Orphelius is going to be a little... Ooh... Yeah, see, the thing is, scalpels are pretty decent. I mean, they're supposedly anti-heavy. 622 damage per shot. I mean, when you consider they cost 220, the jack costs about 600. So three scalpels against a jack. The jack with 5,000 health moves kind of slow. The scalpels fire once every 10 seconds or so. I mean, it's... Ugh. Yeah, 62 damage per second. That means it would take around about a minute and a half to get rid of the jack. For one scalpel. So like half a minute for three scalpels. The jack can deal a lot of damage in 30 seconds. So this is kind of iffy. I don't know. Clone might be able to get away with this. Clone going for the center very quickly. Orphelius as well. Both going for those center 2.8 mexes. This is one of those maps. This is just one of those maps that makes me glad I have the economy view up at all times. Because every metal extractor is some different value from every other metal extractor. It's a little bit difficult to track. And here we go. It'll take about a minute for the scalpels to beat the jacks. So the jack is about a minute of free... Actually, a minute and a half of free reign if these scalpels keep getting hit. Ooh, slight change to the scalpel causes that one jack to get missed. But still, jacks are a bit slower. Thankfully for the scalpel. And Orphelia is continuing with the scalpel construction. Nice repair there. Making sure that scalpel doesn't die. Always good. And Clone going to be doing the same thing. Repairing that jack. Making darn sure that they don't lose anything unnecessarily. Both players keeping track of this stuff. Placeholder coming in for Clone. Ooh, this is going to be extremely painful. If that jack doesn't go away before that placeholder gets built, and that placeholder has half a minute. So that's half a minute. As I mentioned before, the Scalpels has about basically half a minute to get rid of the jack, because that's how long it'll take by DPS count. And it'll be about half a minute before the placeholder gets in. If that jack is destroyed, and it doesn't appear to be, so Orphelius will have to deal with the placeholder on top of the jack. And that placeholder jack combination will kill the scalpels if the scalpels get in the black hole. At all. And yeah, scalpels actually did get a slight nerf. The turning speed in the missile has been reduced, so it is possible to have your units go a bit faster than the missile and just barely miss it if they're close enough. It's a bit of a weird shift, but yeah, basically their missile's homing angle, or their, the maximum angle they can turn to actually home, that has been reduced. Placeholder's still not up yet. Scalpel's coming in to try to finish, or try to deal with this jack, but they they can't really. They'll have to kill the commander before really you know, to kill the jack. Jack moving forward, though. Bit of a risky move. The commander as well taking a bit of damage, but that jack, that's moved forward enough that it should be... Oh, 1600. Another round of shots will do it. One more hit, and... That, ooh, just barely misses. Just barely. If any of those pairs of missiles that hit the jack, the jack would be dead and Clone's entire jack rush would have completely failed. Placeholder's still up. The jack is still up. Getting repaired. Orphelius, however, continuing to build. Ooh, never mind. Going for halberds. If that takes the placeholder black hole, that could do Clone's strategy entirely in. That was close, though. Very close match. Orphelius able to get a little bit of extra room as a result. Bit of breathing room. No constructors. Or sorry, one constructor. One quill over to the south. Continually building up Orphelius' economy, which is exactly what they need to do. Okay, two of the scalpels. Three of the scalpels in the black hole. This is not what they wanted at all. But the black hole not lasting particularly long time. And that jack, however, able to get some free shots in. And that's one scalpel down. The halber trying to take a little bit of the heat off. And unfortunately not able to do so. Getting a bit of damage in. 
And there we go. And that's what they want. The halberd to take that damage. Or take the... Take the black hole. That's perfect. That'll allow the scalpels to get in some hits in and should be able to kill out the jack. The jack is dead! In the air, just barely dies. And Klon building another jack to follow this up, but it's going to take about half a minute. These scalpels have half a minute of free reign. That's more than enough to kill the commander. Oh, never mind. 15 seconds. Oh, no, not even. Barely. An or Klon has the metal in storage, but this is tough. Those scalpels, I think, are... Yes, they're still in range of the commander. And Orphelius does know it's there. The commander is almost dead. That was a clutch jump right there from Klon. If they hadn't jumped right then, that would have been three pairs of missiles hitting them. That would have been a dead commander. That commander only has 1650 health. That's 1800 damage that would have been coming in. Well, actually, 1900 damage just about coming in to that commander. Orphelius taking the north side of the map as well, just making sure not to be pressured into not building things. They're taking advantage... I mean, not even not being pressured. They're taking advantage of their own pressure in order to build around it. And that should just about clean up. And to get into the main base, that jack, one jack's up, another jack being built. Plon not easily able to keep it going, though. Most of their energy going to repairing that first jack. As it, I mean, logically should be. And the placeholder down! Scalpels no longer have to be concerned about a placeholder. No placeholder up at the moment. And the jack, unfortunately, too close to the scalpel. One more scalpel goes down. Orphelia is getting a little bit sloppy, unfortunately, but they do have enough. They have a stronger economy. Getting a caretaker up, they'll be able to easily outproduce Clone at this point. I think it's going to come down to Clone losing their commander. If Clone loses their commander, and once again, another, well, not quite as clutch jump, but still, good jump, get out of there. If Clone loses their commander, that's their ability to construct anything. And they're under a great deal of pressure as it is. Oh, my mistake, there was a freaker going down the south. But losing that very quickly, so that's not going to help out too much. And Orphelius' commander... Nice with that beam laser. Although the jack, unfortunately, a little bit too close. Oh, Orphelius, Orphelius, is your commander going to die? The commander goes down! Orphelius loses their commander. Clone's commander, however, also moving forward, dangerously forward, but the scalpel's getting destroyed. Clone might have a way out of this. However, Orphelius, with their, ex with their extra production power, they're still able to get a lot of scalpels up. They have four scalpels out. Unfortunately, only two of the front lines with halberd support. The commander not up front for repair support, however. This is going to be possibly the difference maker. Because Kloon can repair everything. And Orphelius no longer can. Not without risking quills. And they only have two, I think. Yeah, they have... They have two. One in the main base. Which is actually not really doing anything. Orphelius, however, continuing to expand. Making sure that they can still push that production. How many scalpels in the front lines? Four in the front lines. And another two coming up from the base. Orphelius in a tight spot right now. I mean, they still have the pressure, they still have the economic advantage, but Klon, with those jacks, if they can push that in with the repair properly, and Klon's commander has been upgraded, but still only 1650 health actually was upgraded a while ago. If these scalpels can get a good four shots, a good solid shot from the commander, it's going to take a couple tries, though, because that commander's going to jump. As soon as the scalpels shoot, that commander's going to jump. The instant. And clutch jump, there we go. Clone doing exactly the right thing, but the missile still hit. Oh, one of them splashes. Doesn't quite get a solid hit. So no solid hits from there, but the scalpel's coming in from a great angle. The jack's completely out of position. Scalpel's able to come in from below. Nothing stopping this. Clone. Clone's gonna lose a couple metal extractors, possibly some power plants. And the jack's with no repair support. Another placeholder is up. If that placeholder gets in position, it could be a problem, but the scalpel's... I mean, this is another situation where it's like 20 seconds to get rid of the jack. One of the jacks will go down before the placeholder hits it, but the other jack... Ooh, oh, that goes... There goes a couple placeholders down. The placeholder itself goes down. But those scalpels... Two of the scalpels go down. The other one, Hero Scalpel, nearly kills itself to get rid of the jack. But like I said, Orphelius has a production advantage here, which is probably going to seal the game for them. And that is it. Clone throws in the towel. Pretty exciting match there. That was fun. That was fun to watch. Wow. So that was... That was the Jack Rush, and that was Orphelius countering in with the scalpels. Bit concerned with the placeholders. Wasn't sure how that was going to work out, but it worked out quite nicely for Clone. Because these scalpels, like I said, they, they had a very short amount of time to deal with that Jack. But they did. And that worked. Still, losing that commander was a pain in the butt, I'm sure. Like, if you lose the commander, you lose the ability to repair. And the scalpels, I mean... 
we saw before Orphelius was being very careful to make sure that scalpels did not stay out there if they were getting damaged. That was a big deal. But thankfully they had the production advantage in that time that it, it still worked out. So yeah, that was that the last match, although admittedly that was one heck of a match. Let's see if they can keep up. Size Drum versus Orphelius. So Orphelius and Size Drum appear to be about the same skill level. I'll be very interested to see what happens. This is going to be on Banded Plains, and it'll be up in just a minute, so stay tuned.